Hello guys, so I want to ask you a simple question today in this very video. Do you have that kind of underlying feeling that money, all the desire of money is evil? Something that we have been doing and I also had it. But I have to change my mind after I read a book for this week, which is Becoming a Millionaire God's Will by Dr. Thomas Anderson. And with this book, I've been able to reiterate and understand the divine capacity in businesses and finance. So, tell me and then let's see some of the lessons, the facts and figures and everything that you need to know about business that is written in this particular book. After reading the first hundred pages of the book, one of the key lessons I learned is having a vision. The reason why I start with having a vision is that vision comes with motive. It helps you to know your destination. There is a simple quote that came out of the book that says that if you don't know where you are going, anywhere can be your destination. And one key aspect of vision is that when you have a vision, vision is able to guide you as to how to go about things. That is, it leads you to plan. Planning is a key factor in everything. Without planning, you can't be able to reach the goal that you have set for yourself. And one thing again is that with a vision, you are able to change your attitude because if you don't have the right attitude towards what you want to become, then you can't achieve it. So setting a vision for yourself is a key important role that you need to take when it comes to becoming a millionaire. Because the second lesson I took from the book is investment. Why you need to invest? It is because when you invest, it gives you a long-term income generation. Most people are realized that you always want to get something instantly, get some money and then you will spend right now and go. No. When you read a book, it will give you the knowledge that you don't actually need to keep your money somewhere. Though I have already learned how to save, which is another key factor in terms of becoming a millionaire. I knew how to save, but I was saving all my money at the bank. At the bank, I wasn't getting the interest I needed to get. But of course, I needed to invest my money somewhere. And that is a fact that making your money work for you. So I needed to invest my money. So the small amount of money I was having, I had to go and take it out of the bank. But what is it? I didn't know where to invest my money in. Because for all I knew, when we talk about investment, it's like a huge thing. Yeah. A huge thing where you have to pick a huge amount of money, go and put it inside a company or something like that. But let me tell you something. There is a small way of starting investment. And that is when I went to take my money and put it into cryptocurrency and the stock market. It might look small, but that's money that you are saving at the bank, that's money that you are keeping inside the room. Once you are not going to need it any moment from now, just invest it. Let that money grow. Of course, there is a risk. That is where we need to go to the next lesson. Lesson three. Be a crazy risk taker. Every investment or any action that you take in the business world to become a rich or wealthy person comes with a risk, right? Aha, uh -huh. there is something I remember from the book that says that every average person has like 10 business ideas that come into their mind in the course of the week. But why is it that we are not seeing any business idea? It's because we are afraid to take risk. Assuming you have a comfortable job that gives you, that pays you uh, an average salary, gives you a place to sleep, gives you something that you can eat every month, you won't bother to go and start a new business. And we are afraid to take the risk because we have a lot of what if, what if, what if. That is what if it doesn't succeed, what if people don't patronize it, what if uh, it doesn't go the way we want, that means I'm going to. In fact, enough of the what if. What if it succeeds? That is where you need to take that risk. Take the risk of putting something into being. That is start something new. And once you're able to invest, that is investment takes risk. And also starting something new 
also takes risks. But if you're able to take that risk, be a crazy risk taker. What people think that this thing is too risky? Who is even going to dare put his money into that? But if you're able to invest, that is when they come and say, uh, after this person, we knew him all when we started. But at the end of the day, you have become a boss. So make sure that you put aside all the fears and then take the risk. This is one of the most important lessons that you need to do. That is understanding the concept of ties and offering. You may be wondering why this in this particular book. You know, the Bible says that all money, everything that, that is treasures and gold belongs to God. And if anybody needs it, you need to go to God. Why you need to understand this fact is that when God gives you money, when God blesses you, what happens is that He gives you the chance that you give back to Him what He has offered to you. Now remember, any amount that you generate, make sure that you give tithe back to God. That is one thing of what you gain back to God. And that is going to allow God to secure the money that He has given to you. Remember, tithe is for security. Now, offering, what does it mean? According to the book, offering is a seed money. So if God blesses you, you need to also keep that seed money. You don't eat your offering. That is, you invest back what God has given to you, back to Him, so that you make it multiply. So basically, you need to offer your tithe and you also need to uh, give offering on any money that God gives you. And with that, you'll be able to grow more in your worldliness. The average person works for money, the world makes money works for them. You will never achieve or succeed in life higher than your attitude because your attitude determines your altitude. You can't change the past, you can't even change the present, but you can change the future. Don't let the past failures hinder you from making it tomorrow. The average person buys liability instead of assets. I should be. What it means is that the average person, when he gets raises and a little bit of money after gathering it, you know what he does? He buys better houses, he buys bigger cars, and even nicer clothes. These are things that take away money from us. But what does the world do? The world actually buy, uh, reduces their liability and then buy assets. These are things that actually bring money to him. Let me just give you a simple example. He buys bonds, real estate, investment. These are things that he generates money to him. So instead of just spending his money, he actually multiplies what he already has. And that is what is making the rich richer and the poor poorer.